Hello guys, it's Johnny Time and welcome to another decentralized finance tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to use one inch decentralized exchange aggregator from your mobile device from your iPhone. This is tutorial for iPhone but it applies the exact same thing to Android as well. So if you want to learn how to do swaps on the decentralized exchange in one inch or maybe stake liquidity, all these kind of things, watch this video to learn how. But before we start, make sure to subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification button. So anytime I post useful tutorials about DeFi and crypto and decentralization and crypto gaming, all this kind of cool stuff, you will see it as soon as possible. Now let's get started. The first thing that you have to do is open your app store in your iPhone and search for MetaMask. We are going to use the MetaMask mobile application in order to access the one inch decentralized application. And I'm downloading right here. This is the MetaMask application with a nice uh, orange fox. And meanwhile, it will download, I will explain you a little bit what's going on. So on, we, it's this exact same thing like you're using on your desktop browser on your Chrome or Firefox with the extension of MetaMask. This is going to work the exact same thing. Just you will have a MetaMask application on your iPhone. So you can access using this app, all the decentralized apps. One of them is one inch. You can also access Uniswap, SushiSwap, PancakeSwap, etc, etc. And the first thing that you have to do is actually download and install MetaMask. Once MetaMask has been downloaded and installed, you will see this kind of icon on your iPhone screen. I'm just going to click in order to open my MetaMask, brand new MetaMask app. And this is the welcome screen. I'll just click get started. And now you have three different options. Option one is to import your existing wallet from your existing browser. If you're using MetaMask already and you have a browser extension and you have a wallet with funds, you can export your secret recovery phase, the 12 words that you need to keep safe. And then you can write them here in the MetaMask mobile iPhone application in order to use the same wallet. That way you can use the same wallet on your uh, browser extension in your computer and then in the mobile it will be the exact same wallet. Be sure that this is going to be a hot wallet so you might keep your phone safe and you have to also lock it with a password. We'll see how we do it in a moment. And this is option one. You can use the same browser. The option two is sync with MetaMask extension. So this is a quite new feature that I never tried before, but I guess that basically by connecting the mobile phone to the computer, the MetaMask app on your iPhone can sync, automat sync automatically with your uh, browser extension, but I never tried it before. So the easiest way will be to re import your wallet using recovery phrase, or you can just create a new wallet. That's what we're going to do right now we're going to click here create a brand new wallet and no thanks now you will have to choose a password that this password basically the metamask application will be locked so let's say someone was able to steal your iphone or something happened to your iphone he will not be able to access your wallet if he don't know the password and that's what we're going to do so we're going to pick a password right now once you chose a password, you can tick here the remember me button. And basically it means that you will not have to fill in the password once you use your MetaMask app. This is less secure because if someone has your iPhone and especially if you don't have a face ID or pin code, you can basically steal all your funds. So make sure that I, I will not turn toggle it on. Right now it's just a temporary wallet for the tutorial, so I don't mind. But this is if you don't want to remember the password and you want automatically the app to open, then you will have to toggle this button on and then you can and click create password and now MetaMask is creating your new wallet. Congratulations. We'll click start here and now you have the secret backup phrase. This is super, super important. These words are the most important words in the world. Never lose them and never share them with anyone. You need to remember these words in the right order when you write it right in the right order. And this is how you're able to recover your wallet if you lost access to it, if your phone is broken or something happened, you forgot a password, anything like that. Then you will have this kind of words and you can recover your wallet. On the other side, if someone else get access to these words, then your wallet is gone. He has access to your wallet and he will steal all your funds. So do not do what I'm doing right now. I'm going to take a screenshot, but I don't mind because this is a temporary wallet. So I'm just going to take a screenshot, but you do not do it and make sure that you keep these words in a safe place. Now you will have to click continue right here. And now a uh, MetaMask asks you to verify that you actually backed up your words, like verify your password. So you got, you need to fill in the passwords, the, the words, sorry, in the right order to verify. So I'm going to fill it right now. 
Once done, once you finish to fill up the words, you will click complete backup and now your wallet is created. Congratulations, you have a new MetaMask wallet. You can see your wallet address. You can see that you are connected on the top right now to the Ethereum mainnet and you have 088 because it's a new wallet. You can send and receive tokens. You can add import tokens. Everything that you're familiar with, your MetaMask extensions actually exist here in the iPhone application, which is super, super cool and super convenient. And I love and I'm using MetaMask. So you click here on the left side, on the left side menu, and now you're going to click browser. You will have to use the in-app browser of the MetaMask in order to use decentralized apps like one inch, because if you are using Chrome or Safari or any other browser on your iPhone, it will not work because only within the app, the application is basically able to connect your wallet to the Web 3.0 DeFi application one inch. So we're going to search right here one inch. It's always better to put the exact URL because there are a lot of phishing attacks, especially in Google ads. You have like a phishing website that's trying to look like one inch and basically they steal your a seed phrase or your private key but in that case we're using DuckDuckGo which is a bit safer and you can see right here always check the URL because right now you can see https app.1inch.io I know this is the right domain this is the right website so I'm gonna just click it in the first result so make sure you're on the right domain and congratulations guys now you are officially using one inch from your iPhone device now, the wallet is not connected. In order to connect it, you will have to click the connect wallet button right here on the bottom. So I, I read and accept. You can choose whether each blockchain that you want, we're gonna choose Ethereum and then MetaMask. And now you will have a prompt on your MetaMask application to connect the wallet to the one inch web application. We click connect. And congratulations guys, you can see right here on the bottom, your wallet is connected. This is super, super cool. Now you can do swaps, staking, provide liquidity, farming, everything that you're familiar with one inch, you can do it from your iPhone. And this is the easiest way to do it using MetaMask. That's why I prepared this tutorial, so it will be super easy for you. If you want, you can also change the blockchain, for example, to BSC mainnet. And now you can see that automatically the one inch application says to the MetaMask, ask for permission to add new chain new network to the RPC node. So I'm going to click uh, approve and switch network. And now guys, you can see here on the top that we switched our wallet from Ethereum to Binance Smart Chain. You can do the exact same thing to Polygon, for example. And again, it will ask for permission. Now, by the way, if you want, you can change networks by going back to your wallet right here on the left side menu and click here on your wallet. And now you can choose whether which network you want. I can go back to Ethereum. I can go back to Binance Smart Chain. This is super, super easy, super cool. Again, I can go to the browser again and use one inch and start swapping and using everything that you're familiar with from your browser extension in MetaMask. You can see all the transaction history right here, of course. You can um, view your wallet on BSC scan. You can go to settings. All the settings that you're familiar with MetaMask, you have them right now on your iPhone device. And it's super, super easy and simple to use one inch and swap tokens. Right now, I don't have any tokens in this wallet because it's a brand new wallet. But if I had tokens, I would just basically, let's say I want to sell one BNB. So I choose here BNB and USDT. And I will click, now it's insufficient BNB balance. But if I would have some BNB, I would have the exact same balance like approve and, and swap. And then a prompt will be uh, launched and popped up on my MetaMask application. I will just click confirm and then the transaction will be sent from my MetaMask mobile iPhone application wallet to the uh, one inch smart contrast. Super easy, super simple and makes your life much more easier. So this is the guide. I hope it was helpful for you. If you like it, consider subscribing and clicking the bell notification button. So when I post another guide or a super interesting thing about DeFi and blockchain and crypto, you can see them as soon as possible. If it was useful, useful for you also consider smashing that like button it really helps to the algorithm to expose this video to more people that are looking for how to use one inch from iphone and it will help them to get to this guide like it helped you it will help help them as well if you have any questions write them in the comments below and well i will answer to every single one of them i will i'm here for you i'm here to help you in the DeFi journey and i'm super happy and excited to do it and thank you so much once again for watching my videos and learning with me about DeFi and crypto and i will see you in the next guide bye bye